Dave Smith here, DJS Photography. This is uh, part three of my uh, calibrating digital negatives. Um, and in part two, we looked at, what did we look at? Getting uh, maximum time for maximum black. Incidentally, I worked out why I had four of these. Uh, I did the first two and then decided that my uh, sensitizer, the oxalate, was too old. Uh, so I suspended it, bought some new stuff and then redid them so I had four of them. Anyway, uh, on to this. So what we're interested in next, we've got our time for maximum black, we've seen how to coat the paper. What we're interested in next is what's the best colour for blocking uh, the UV? And I got this colour matrix uh, from Peter Maha and I strongly advise that you buy his book it's, uh, it's really good, really straightforward, and it does give you some uh, simpler methods than some of the methods I've used. So it gives you a method, for example, for finding this time to maximum black without uh, the need for a stufa wedge, which I guess uh, people may not have. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the colour matrix that he provides, and it's uh, created on the hue saturation brightness model. You've got uh, hue along the top, and these are <coughs> multiples of 10 degrees of hue, because remember that the, um, uh, the hue, the HSB, the hue part, is on a, it's on a, uh, a circle. So it's degrees around that circle. <coughs> We've got 100 in the middle, um, and then it uh, goes down this way, and it goes down this way. And at the bottom here, we've got saturation. So right at the bottom, we've got 0% saturation. Uh, above here, we've got brightness. <coughs> and you can see zero brightness is basically black. Okay. Uh, and interestingly, when you see this later, you'll see that um, black uh, isn't the best blocker. All right? And that's the, that's the point about this part of the process. So if you're in this upper half here, then you automatically have 100% saturation. If you're in the lower part, you have 100% brightness. And whatever percent of uh, brightness here and whatever percent of saturation here. Okay? So what we do, sensor, uh, coat a piece of paper. Then we're going to expose that piece of paper uh, with our previously determined uh, time for maximum black. Uh, and then develop it entirely as usual, as you would intend to do. Every, everything has to stay consistent. Uh, and certainly consistency is the watchword for these processes. So you expose it, and then you scan it, and we're going to use the uh, threshold, um, the threshold tool in Photoshop to work out which tile is the brightest. <coughs> Because the brightest tile is the best blocker. It's prevented the uh, sensitization by the light. Uh, so we're looking for last man standing. Okay? So in the next part of this video, uh, I'm going to show you how, to, how I set my scanner up. And then I'm going to show you how to use the threshold slider to find your uh, best color blocker. And then how you can enter that into uh, the colour picker and save that in, uh, in your colour swatches uh, so that you've got it ready to hand for future use. Okay, so let's move on. Hi, uh, Dave Smith again. Uh, so here we are. We are uh, on the desktop and uh, the window open here is the uh, view scan window. So we're just going to go through the scanning settings uh, for the print uh, of the color matrix to find the best color blocker. So uh, I use view scan, uh, but all, this scan, all these scanning softwares are uh, pretty similar. Uh, I'll just run through some of the um, uh, settings. So. Uh, I'm set to professional, uh, I'm scanning to a file, it's a V700, just a flatbed scanner, scanning in colour. Uh, I don't worry about media size, I want 24 bits, 300 dots per inch for the scan resolution, 
and we can see here it's going to my N drive and I have a file name set up and I'm going to scan in JPEG. So uh, if I wanted to change any of that, I'd go to uh, output. If I wanted to have a TIFF file instead of a JPEG, for example. Uh, but that's the setup that we're going to use. And we're going to click on preview. Now it's uh, pretty quick. And here it comes. So I haven't done anything to it. Uh, Okay, and we're just going to pull that out, make sure we're not clipping anything. We're not clipping down this end here, and so just going to uh, slightly adjust these boundaries. I don't necessarily want all of that. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to scan, and that should take it directly into that. Uh, drive and here it comes now uh, this will uh, invoke Photoshop uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, stop this recording now uh, okay and here we are in Photoshop so the first thing we'll do is go open that uh, scan that we just made, which will be this one right here. And there we go. So let's uh, rotate. Image rotation, I think we want to go counterclockwise. We do indeed. And we'll just uh, zoom into that a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, I'm going to get my uh, marquee tool. My toolbars are outside of this recording window because I use uh, I use two monitors in this setup. Okay, that will do us, I think. So, I've highlighted just the tiles because I want the numbers to stay visible uh, when we do the next uh, processes. And what we're going to do is blur this just slightly, just to take off the any inconsistencies in the coating, uh, take off um, the paper texture and things of that nature. Just four or five uh, radius is fine, four or five pixels radius. And we'll click OK. Now what we're going to do, what we're going to do is to find which of the colors in this HSB color matrix that we printed uh, provide the best blocking so which which tile is going to be last man standing and we do that by going to image uh, adjustments image adjustments uh, threshold and I'm just going to pull the threshold window in so that you can see it okay and we pull this uh, little uh, marker triangle here to the right and as we do more and more and more will go black until we get to this point and we want the last tile okay so it's uh, one of those okay uh, I would say it's this one or this one or this one and it doesn't really matter if I'm being honest which we choose uh, I think when I first uh, did this I actually got uh, the last tile down here it's just uh, worked out slightly differently here, um, but it, it it won't make very much difference where we are in this region here. Uh, but we could choose this one here, and this is in the five column, so this is the hue uh, angle, and each one of these is worth 10 degrees, so this is 50 degrees of hue. It's in the top half, so the saturation is going to be uh, automatically 100%. And this will be 20% uh, uh, brightness. Now I think I actually uh, use 40% brightness, uh, but 50 degrees of hue and 100% sat saturation uh, is the colour I ended up with when I originally did this. But as I say, it won't make very much difference. So let's say we got that. We, we're going to be happy with that there. Let's uh, click OK for this. Now what we will do is bring up the colour picker. And in here we can put those values in. So I got uh, 50 degrees 
uh, saturation was 100 and the brightness uh, was 20 and we can take that color and we can add that to swatches now let me show you how that looks I'm going to break just going to go and pick up my swatches panel and drag that in so that you can see it here we go and this is the color that I got and if I click on that you can see that indeed I got 50 degrees of hue 100% brightness but I 100% uh, saturation uh, but I settled um, on 40% brightness so I, um, I'm putting down a little bit less ink than if I have 20% uh, brightness um, but maybe 20% brightness would require less um, no it wouldn't no I was going to say less printing time but we set that uh, elsewhere didn't we so anyway that's the color I use so uh, you know despite that we got a slightly different color here uh, in this uh, trial uh, but that's the process I'm going to cancel that I'm going to put my swatches panel back uh, that's the process okay you print your uh, color matrix in the way that you're going to print uh, you know follow your process right the way through then you scan the finished uh, article and we've seen uh, the scan settings uh, then you bring it into Photoshop and you use a threshold uh, value just to see which is the uh, which is the brightest tile because the brightest tile is giving you the best uh, color blocking okay uh, and that's it that's all we need so I hope that's been of some interest uh, and there's more to come Bye for now.